Hello, I am Jerry from Archisnapper and in this video I will show you how to manage a to-do list of observations with Archisnapper. So we're here in our online Archisnapper account and from here we can manage our project and for every project we can add contacts. Those are the people that are involved in the project, for example subcontractors, an owner and so on. And then next I can also upload documents to the project, for example a floor plan. You see here I have one floor plan for this project. And finally we can also set up the sections for this project. It's not mandatory, but you can use this for predefining the physical areas within the project, for example the room numbers. And then when we're doing a site visit and we're creating observations, we can assign those observations to any of the sections. Alright, so we have seen how to manage a project with contacts, documents and sections. And next, let's have a quick look at the category list. Here we are. This is a list of categories that you can manage yourself. You can change the order and those categories will then be available in the Archisnapper app. So you can add observations to any of those categories. Alright. Let's go to the Archisnapper app now and I'll show you how you can document observations within the to-do list for this project. Okay, so I'm here in the Archisnapper app. I'm going to tap on the sync button at the right top in order to synchronize or download all the projects and contacts, documents and so on to my Archisnapper app. And then it's perfectly possible to work offline. So we see the, the projects here, sample project. I'm going to tap on the project and then to the to-do list. So here I have a list of observations for the sample project and um, let's create a new observation for example for the category finishes. Tap in here on the plus. Mm, crack. It's due by this date. I'll assign it to for example doesn't matter, this one. Um, I'm going to assign a section to the observation. So for example, room one. I can locate it on the floor plan, opening the plan. Let's zoom in and then locate the item in room one. I can also take a photo for this observation. Alright, so the photo is here for this observation. I can sketch on the photo. Save. Um, we can also add the descriptions. Maybe real quick. Uh, please fix. Save. So in this way we can uh, document observations. I'm saving this one. It's, uh, it's here in the list together with all the related data. It's also possible to add observations directly from the floor plan. So here I, what I just did was adding an observation starting from the category list, but I can also do it the other way around. When I tap here on PDF plan, I can open the document and then um, zoom in and start adding observations from here. For example, I tap here because we have an issue with the Paint, for example, there, hub, and then we can fill in all the fields again, the pictures, and save, and then we're back here on the floor plan. So these are the two ways to um, add observations to this to-do list. Let's now save it and sync all the data to the online Archisnapper account. All right, so we're back here in the online Archisnapper account. I'm going to my projects, sample project, to-do list. So this is the list of observations for this project. And here are the two observations that I just created with the app, together with the pictures, locations on the plans, descriptions, and so on. It's important to know that we can still edit these observations from here with the online Archisnapper account. I can add photos, add descriptions, in fact, change anything that I want to change also from here with the online Archisnapper account. 
I can also filter in the list. For example, let's say I want to filter out the list of observations for room one with status not okay. Search. Then this is the list meeting those filter criteria. Um, I can have a look at the PDF report with those observations. Here it is. And finally, I can also distribute the list um, to my contacts or share it online. So this is how we manage a to-do list of observations with ArchiSnapper.